college students. So how many of you guys thought about playing a sport in college ranging from anywhere from D1 all the way down to Juco here at UMAC? Yes, okay, so I did, and I played D3, not that it matters, but um, there are some facts that I wish they told you about the re reality of a student athlete's life before you commit, and maybe I was naive, or maybe it isn't talked about enough, but the reality of a collegiate athlete isn't the glamour I made it out to be in my head. Um, many student athletes struggle with time management issues, missing a lot of classes, but most importantly, mental health issues, ranging from anywhere from anxiety, stress, or even suicidal thoughts or actions. And these, and I wish there was more awareness about these issues before I had committed. Okay, so the first, oh, did I already click it? Um, this study was done by the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, um, found that 30% of students, athletes felt extremely overwhelmed, where 25% felt like they were mentally exhausted. There was also reportedly that 31% of males and 48% of females reported having anxiety and or depression. Um, facts from an article done by Troy University. Um, an, ex an explanation for this is that college students are more susceptible to stressors than a typical college student due to time demanding, um, time demand, um, missing cl classes, lack of sleep, and having poor relationships with coaches or teammates. Um, problems also arise from athletes unable to identify outside of athletics, um, which is bad because it makes them um, determine their self-worth based off of playing time or performance on the field. However, this is not always the case because even Lauren Bennett was named Colonial Athletic Association Player of the Week. Um, her mental health, however, did struggle um, because on April 28th, of 2022, um, a week, the same week she was uh, um, named that title, she took her own life. Um, Lauren played for James Madison University in Harrisonburg, Virginia. J JMU is an NCAA Division I program where Lauren was a sophomore and she was a frequent starter. She catched. Um, her friends and teammates described her as a role model, also stating that she was a fantastic person and she was more than a ball player. She would do anything for anyone reported by a local news, te news team over in Virginia. The news of her death shook the entire softball community. I know it shook it for me, and because um, it was became very popular on social media. Um, this tweet went viral, and many spoke out on this matter through social media, specifically Twitter, and most comments were heartfelt. However, some started to question the NCAA on what they were planned to do with athletics and mental health. Um, so these are some real tweets. Um, this is from the NC um, AA, uh talking about the morning of the loss of Lauren and really just talking about condolences and heartfelt message. However, it says nothing about the problems of mental health. And here is your very own DMAX softball. Um, again, more talking about um, saying how they are thinking about JMU and like thoughts and prayers. However, here starts to get into more like digging into the problem of mental health with college athletes. Um, um, saying to make mandatory psychologists for each program and how these programs have toxic environments for negative cultures. And on the left here stating that um, she just won player of the week that week and, a, um, and that is the second student in just the season um, that was a college athlete. Um, that took their own life in that and just a week before that and questioning the conversation of athletics mental health and finally this is someone talking about what is the NCAA going to do about this um, there needs to be a plan in place because this is not the first this is not the second but this is the third and it ended up being there was not one not two but four um, student female athletes last year that took their life before the end of the spring season spring semester due to poor mental health issues. Um, there is no saying how many tried and failed in small colleges or even that didn't make national news. And I know for me, we had one girl in my small program of just 30 um, softball players that um, attempted to take her own life. And um, was that published? No, obviously not. And um, so how many people have similar stories as me? that um, there is no awareness to about this big of an issue.
Um, um, so how many deaths by suicide is enough for the NCAA to mandate a issue? Well, we still haven't reached that because they um, still have not mandated any help for these students. Um, however, each individual program can have their own policies towards helping their students, athletes, but both physically and mentally, but how many recruits really ask that coach and are willing to speak up about that issue and maybe with more awareness they will. So, um, that's why we're excited. But um, I hope these athletes will start to get more support um, so that they can keep uh, these stories out of the news, not because they're not, not because they are not published, but because they are happening. And if um, you know a student athlete, check in on them. Um, if you know anyone, just keep your kind words and support to really help save a person's life. Any, um, sometimes it's the strongest and kindest people that are gone too soon. And that's my work said. Sorry. So sorry. You woke him up. You were sorry.